Hey Tris, how are you doing? Hi Aaron, how are you? I'm good. So Why are you on the other side? Well, today you have to be a big girl and stand behind the camera by yourself. So anyway, tell uh, us, tell us, tell us what is in store for this episode. Okay, hello guys. Today we're going to talk about the Zontis. 250V Cafe Racer. Yes, for the previous episode, right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. But now this episode, there's something special right here. Right you can see it. <laughs> yeah, we have we have the new Cafe Racer Sports Cafe. We're gonna also talk about it in a while. So tell us first and foremost of what the point is for the Zontes 250 Cafe Racer, the original. Yeah. Which is this one actually? One. Yeah, don't get it twisted. This one. This was the first one. This is the pioneer. The pioneer. Yeah. Okay, so from from, from from the name, from the name Z to Z T to fifty, yeah. that should already tell you it's a two fifty cc, right? Okay. So it's a two fifty cc engine. Both of them are, are actually two fifty cc engine. The tank capacity is twenty liters and the fuel consumption is two point four liters per hundred kilometers. That's basically that is a one liter every 48 yeah. wasn't very good at maths but you can do the math okay, do yeah the that's your job yes <laughs> so 20 liters yeah 250 cc yeah okay so we can also see that the style is a little bit different yep okay so the conventional one has a more retro look mm -hmm. than the newer one which is still keeping with the cafe race look true okay true. so yep. but the specs do remain the same yeah the tank, 250 cc um, the pops are different. Yeah. The original one has. The, the original ones has like basic, not upside down forks, but this one's this one has inverted forks, and that's the one of the differences also. Yeah. The weight is still the same, 128 kilos, and it can carry up to a load, which would be a person, I believe. Okay, no one is carry a person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. 138 kilos. Yeah, and people who would buy this bike are guys who are just looking for commit. Uh, yes, right. commuting. Just from point A, Wa, malls, wherever. Just commuting around town, that would be perfect. Yeah, because the cafe races are generally for short distance, short commutes, right? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Yep. So, what else can you tell us about the bike? Okay. Uh, price? We, uh, so, this one, the basic, the first cafe racer would go for 229,000. And this one would go for 249,000. If you think the 20k uh, addition is good, considering the fact that you have inverted, you know, shops, shops, yeah. So that makes it more stiffer. I'm not saying that your back will hurt when you ride this bike. I'm just saying it's stronger. It's well, stronger. it's gonna bend, but it will take a lot of pressure to bend that shock, yeah. And also the seat the seat how? Uh, well, I know people might say this would be more of a one-seater kind of thing, but if you really like the girl, you can always be touched and it will be just like this. Uh, don't worry about that. And also, if you notice the spokes right there, they are twisted. Twisted spokes look much better and pretty and yeah. And also, this one has the gas field uh, 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 shock, yeah, so also the right the Basic. Yeah, yeah, and also smoother. Good it's, looking stuff. Yeah? Good looking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to take one of them out, right? Mm -hmm. The basic one because the new one is the only unit you have. Yep, yep. Okay. No, 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 no. Actually, we have so many. Yes. Yeah, in the yes. warehouse. Uh -huh. But now the thing is, one, they are not registered, so you cannot like ride them. But they will be registered in like the next week, so. Good stuff. Yeah, so, good stuff. So, if you guys didn't watch the previous episode, please, this is what's a uh, prelude to the other episodes of the this one. So, we're going to check out the Zontes 250. And you better come out. So, Tris, do you want to do that thing for Paul? Call me Tris Bikes. <laughs> check me on Instagram, check me on Facebook, and call me. It's 0711. I bet you will cut this part. I will edit it. Yeah, so I know. I know. I won't finish. Okay. 0711 <laughs>
Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers and as promised we are going to review the Zontes 250 Cafe Race. Now the term was coined in the early 60s, post-war era when Britons came back and they couldn't afford cars. But then when Britain emerges in economic power, the bike remained as a status symbol. Most people who used it were actually rock stars and so the subculture developed around that rock star kind of teeth. So now the cafe racer remained as a status symbol and a sign of rebellion. Now when Zontus released this bike, I was actually quite eager to know how they pulled it off. It being a Chinese company, let's see if they pulled it off. When I hear Cafe Racer, I think of the BMW R90. I think of the Yamaha XSR 900 above. Zontus 250 doesn't really strike that nerve, but let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe my opinions will be changed after this test ride. And hopefully to hear from you guys who have actually bought them, does it live up to the reputation of being a Cafe Racer? Keep it locked. Okay, I'm in neutral. Yes! So let's see, let's see, let's see if it can live up to its expectation. I'm a pretty tall guy. So I'm gonna do a small bike. Up. Oh. Now up. Okay, we're up and running then. Okay. Okay, and we're off. <laughs> Whoa! For starters, it's really, really nippy. Are the foot pegs on this thing? Okay, and we are off. Yeah, I'm a bit short, so. <laughs> I'm really struggling. I'm used to riding um, big uh, 600cc bikes, so it's actually quite interesting for me to be riding this one today. But anyway, it doesn't change much actually. Oh, hello kids, hello kids, hello children. Oh, might as well let the kids pass. Okay, let's take it a bit off road so you know. <laughs> Woo! It's nimble. But does not like off-road clearly. <laughs> or just a rider anyway. Might be a riding error. So let's start this. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers and we're finally here to ride the Zontis 250V. Now in the outtakes you will notice that I have no idea or rather forgotten how to ride one of these upright bikes even though I've owned one. But anyway right off the bat this bike is actually quite smooth. I can see clearly, my field of view is quite clear. The gear changes, the gear lever is a bit up in front there, but I guess it's something to get used to, but I am quite comfortable. And I think I got some a little bit of acceptance there from the kids. <laughs> they looked at me and the thought was quite cool. So let's see if maybe, 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 maybe the rest of the public will think I'm cool looking with this outfit I have on now. Uh, the Zontis 250, Tris already told us about the specs earlier on, it's a 223cc displacement, 20 litre tank, upright sitting ergonomics, the front forks are actually facing, the usual facing, not upside down, but uh, that doesn't really hurt the riding characteristics so much, uh, but let me just mirror a little bit, uh, so, okay fine, the riding mirror is a bit silly. Okay, that guy let me too. Okay, fine. Let's see if we can manage highway speed a little bit. Okay, I start too badly off actually. I feel quite secure and safe, and it's picking up speed quite okay. I hope I'm not revving the shit out of the engine. <laughs> uh, but it's quite comfortable actually. I can see clearly. I don't feel too exposed. The mirrors are a bit uh, small, but I can see clearly right behind them, and I'm adjusting them on the fly, which. I tell you not to do. Must remember that this is a small displacement bike, so <laughs> the revs drop quite a bit. It has, it just has 17 horsepower, but from the onset, it it feels like it's quite enough. 17 horsepower, just that, and it, it feels like it has enough get up and go. Um, okay, fine. I wish I had a front-facing camera today, but if you look at the dash, it's not very clear but I can see the sun is right overhead but it's not too badly off I can see 
I'm actually liking these mirrors. I actually take that comment right back. I can see through these mirrors quite nicely. Uh, they might be small, but they're a bit higher up. And when I put my hands on the handlebar, I can see behind me quite nicely. I feel quite secure and really it has eliminated the blind spot behind me. And so oh, that's a plus. Okay. Now I still have a complaint about the, the gear change. <laughs> the brakes are bloody sharp. Oh my goodness gracious. Or is it me who is not used to such brakes? <laughs> I think it has uh, what CBS, I think combined braking system. I'm not really feeling the rear one gripping, but they say that it does on paper. But I guess maybe if I got used to it uh, or I own it a little bit, you'll, get, you'll notice that the rear one are holding. The gear changes are quite smooth. Single cylinder, yes, the vibrations are there, um, but it's not too much. It's not coming up my crotch. The seat in one of the YouTubers who reviewed this bike said that the seat is a bit uncomfortable. I, it's actually quite nice. I like it. It's, it's firm and i feel well supported uh, okay the bumps okay fine yeah the suspension is a bit hard i'm about 94 kilos and it's really feeling the suspension but it's not as harsh as a sports bike that i currently own this bike so far i'm actually quite happy to have it i can see clearly it feels stable on the road i can see nicely and have a nice field of view um i do feel a little bit exposed from the front there is nothing buffeting the wind to circulate around me which is usually in keeping of cafe races oh my goodness this brakes brakes are pretty pretty damn sharp <laughs> i guess i guess yes it's they, they're both gripping they're both gripping okay <laughs> mine one in the first place <laughs> okay let's see how nimble it is yes I'm feeling that the handlebars might be a little bit big. Let's try and swivel through these vehicles here. He saw me clearly. Look, look, look right. Hello, hello. Okay, goody, goody, goody. Goody, goody, goody. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. I like it. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm a big dude. I'm a big dude and I'm really praying I don't look like a hippopotamus on this thing. <laughs> okay, I think we'll go. That side, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go up uh, my favorite track, um, Hospital Road. Woo! That's an ambulance right there. Gotta be careful for the 6,000 RPM. Yeah! Look at it go! Yeah, I'm cruising now. <laughs> I'm joking. This bike shouldn't be pushed as I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's a nice, simple bike. The downshifts are a bit heavy. I'm feeling the weight. Like when I shift down, it's it's a bit clunky and maybe the adjustment of the clutch or maybe it's me who needs to get used to it but anyway it's fine I'm pretty sure with the carburetor cold starts might be a bit of a problem but it's something that you can work around with I guess the correct oils and giving it a little bit of um, increasing opening up the choke a little bit so it can warm up before it set off but so far so good so far so good um, no one is laughing at me as I ride but the balance of it being a small bike and me revving it up all the way to 6,000 RPM just to get up and go is a bit bothersome, but the power feels just okay for its size. Okay, fine, that felt nice. Okay, I had to change down one there, a bit rough. Let's take it a bit sporty. Let's see how it can handle. Woohoo! I'm gonna lean around this bend with his tires. <laughs> I'm on the fastest cafe racer in the world. And homage to jeremy clarkson but anyway i just did a terrible job there i'm enjoying this you can by my voice i'm, I'm having quite a blast because it's fun to ride small bikes sometimes and this one is just is just is tickling all those ticking all those little um boxes for fun small bikes but i don't know how you'll be living with it Ugh, the steering was a bit heavy balancing and you get used to it I think I get a lot of uh, assists from my steering damper on the small micro movement, so I've gotten used to that. Okay, that gear change is much better, so I guess it's something to get used to. Something to get used to. I'm enjoying these mirrors. These mirrors, I can see really nicely behind me. <laughs> and, and I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I could have so much fun with this. But anyway, back to the review. It's, it feels like it's living up to a cafe racer. Um, I owned a cafe racer, right? A retro style bike, a Kawasaki ZR750 Z Zafir. And um, it was a bit of um, a sports, street sports bike. But it had all the features of a cafe racer. It had clip on uh, handlebars, it had. Um, 
Oh, I should change gears now. <laughs> Remember, I'm not on a big bike. <laughs> okay, I'm all there to gear five. Let's see. Does he have a six gear? No, that was five gears. Five gears. No, I'm sorry. It had a clip on. It had a low swept exhaust. It had an aftermarket exhaust. Yeah, it was a Yoshimura pipe that sounded fantastic. It had Dunlop racing tires. Um, and it was fast. It was fast. I think it had 74 brake horsepower, but it was the delivery. The delivery was fantastic. And it, it brings me down to this one. This is a. 250 cc 222 uh 223 displacement and the power feels there uh, yeah i have to rev it because it's a small bike but i'm on gear three and i've accelerated out of this corner quite comfortably so power delivery wise that is actually quite good yeah thumbs up there zontis nice delivery oh man the noise it's not too much i'm actually hearing the engine quite comfortably um I can't hear the exhaust much so if you're into that maybe you could change the exhaust if you like to but i would keep it like this because if you're going to use it for a commuter bike i discourage guys from putting loud exhausts and everything like that because it comes really distracting not only for yourself but for people around you so just keep it quiet this is just like nice enough the good part is that the horn is quite loud and he heard me he definitely heard me oh my goodness yeah you're driving a monster 530 but you know come on please man uh okay you he heard me as well but uh clearly uber driver okay i'm on gear three yep i'm on gear three and i'm pulling away what is wrong with you dickhead man yeah look at this guys now this is uh oh uh, boniface Bongi, please be one of those people oh my goodness this breaks these brakes inspire confidence. <laughs> These brakes inspire confidence. Yes, my man. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice man. Nice man. Okay, so it's actually quite nippy. Just let me ask for some permission here. Can I get here? Because I'm going down that way. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I guess that is my few minutes of reviewing this bike uh wish i could keep it a bit longer to give you a day to day on how to live with this thing but i guess that'll have to do so you guys um remember to leave a comment on what you think about this bike or what you think about this bike make sure you drop into beth mobility and take a look at it it's beautiful i like it i like the styling I wish it had a bigger engine, but I'm a bit greedy when it comes to power. <laughs> so guys, this has been Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers Tree Smash Up, rider and onboard review of the Zontis 250 Cafe Racer, and it's done from me. I am signing out. Peace, guys.